Oh, so fun. Well, today kind of turned out to be a fail. My plan was to run two 4,700 bilge pumps with 50 feet of two inch lay flat. And I've done it before, but I got about eight feet of head lift here. And it just isn't enough for the little piglet. It needs twice as much easily. Uh, this is the first time I've really tried to run this much head lift. I knew there was going to be an issue, but man, I'm loving the piglet, bringing it into places. It's just so nice and light, but yeah, I'm still going to try and run some material. It's the beginning of winter. It's cold out. I dragged all this stuff out. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to dig for a little bit. If it doesn't work, I'll test pan around. You can see my two pumps. One pump is pretty old. It might be going bad. One pump's brand new, so I might have some pump issues. I'm running the uh, 100 amp hour battery LiPo. Uh, with both of these, we're at 17 amps each, I believe. And so technically with a LiPo battery, 100 amp hours, you can run almost that full 100 amps out of it with uh, a lead acid battery that are heavy as hell. After 50% of draw, you're damaging those batteries pretty well. So you couldn't do this for very long. With this battery, you can run it for a safe two and a half hours, almost three. But, you know, that never really works. But that battery is about 24 pounds compared to 64 pounds. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we, uh, whoa. We'll see what we see. Whoa. I think I just zapped something out. Cause we're not seeing anything. Hold on. Okay. We had a, I, I guess I had a bad connection or something, but it's up and running now. around all these bushes so it does look like eh, maybe it's not pulling air so technically this is about 53 feet and all together at this height is about eight feet from the pumps for head lift and you can see it's just not not enough water but I'm gonna still dig for a little bit and just run it super slow I feel lazy. I should have brought some beer. Here, let's see what, let's do some. Well, let's push the material through. Kind of holding a good amount of material, not really clearing out as well. Maybe I'll run this flap a little, little hot. I don't know. I'll dig for a couple minutes, see what it looks like. But yeah, sometimes, sometimes you go out prospecting and it's a bust. I've gone out, driven six hours before to use my four-inch dredge, and forgot my motor. Always check your materials here. Your list of stuff definitely pays out sometimes. <laughs>
so I've been moving pretty slow tried some different angles wasn't really working went back to nine degrees at the top about five at the bottom just running it slow packing it and going around doing some test panning trying to make the best of it but I'm running it about this quarter as quickly as you should be <laughs> oh well still clearing out and looking decent so going to use this opportunity to do some test pans kind of deep me and my buddy were out here that gold fell off about a foot deep so I'm taking this time I dug about two and a half three foot deep gonna do a test see what it looks like never know all right the wind keeps coming and going I hate the wind hate it I hate filming with one hand too, but I hate the wind more. I see a couple of pieces already. Right up in there and right there. It's all super fine here. But in this spot, sometimes we've gotten 50, 100 colors, sometimes 10. I see a few in there. Just doing a quickie, quickie test pan. It's definitely not zero, Steve, so you better be listening, bro. God, it's so hard to film. I can see it, but I can't see it through my, through my phone. footage but there's 40 50 colors in there so that's decent I'm gonna clean it up better hold on I'm over here digging with a piglet and they're filming for gold rush across the river so dug a hole about three feet deep we're getting good gold at the first foot blood gold you know but I'm um, using this opportunity to test it's hard to tell in the camera there's some uh, you can see some layers uh, but uh, yeah Steve we went through a layer and I'm back on some uh, decent gold getting 30 colors but uh, I'm gonna see if my one buddy watches any of my videos dude I got some topaz for you bro Woo! <laughs> tested my tailings uh, a few times, uh, four or five uh, uh, test pans, a lot of black sands. Didn't find anything. Found one micro out of four or five test pans for uh, not running it properly. Super happy. gonna do a quick pan out but I'm seeing a decent amount of gold considering so I think I'm gonna take this home and clean it out a lot of garnets in there Steve you're gonna be pumped for Christmas you can make your wife some more jewelry <laughs> yeah I think I'm gonna clean it uh, up better at home I was just gonna pan out look at that line can you see it right in the middle nice little line I'm gonna clean up better at home. Not running the piglet properly. It sure uh, sure did catch some pretty good stuff considering how much material I moved. Yeah, that's my header box tailings. Not much at all. Probably four buckets worth, slow. Not bad. Oh my God, the wind. No wonder I never see anybody else out here. Woo! Oh my God. It's still windy. Still headed back to the car. 
so back in the gold room, so much black sands. I was panning this out and gave up because it was so much black sands. So I figured I would just hook up the multi sluice and I, where I'm at, we've never found a plus 20. So I just quickly classified it plus 20, looked at it. So I'm running the uh, minus plus 20s. And uh, bilge pump came undone twice. Water everywhere, everywhere. So a little bit of a setback. Today doesn't seem to be the day, but I'm gonna run this, see what we see. Woohoo!